Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is keeping really well and safe. Now today, guys, I'm very happy to say I am in my office and which is also one of my grow rooms. And this is my hanging uh, epiphytic cactus stand here, the ones I have indoors. I have a lot of epiphyllums also in the polytunnel. And this is mostly all my Ripsalis varieties. And today, guys, I have one of my Ripsalis, my Ripsalis Alba Aureolata. What a name. Blooming beautiful. Just look at that, guys. It is the most beautiful orangey red pretty little flower ever. And there's loads of buds as well on there. And also the other, the other one has also got buds on it too. So I'm very happy about this. And I wanted to share the beauty with you all. And this particular Ripsalis, the Alba Aureolata, is the first time flowering for me. It's this little one here. And it's, I'm happy to say, it is absolutely packed with more buds. Look at that as well. Another little orange bud coming on. Each of these little fuzzy little areoles here are where buds are going to, uh, buds are forming. So probably in another month or two, this is going to be completely covered with flowers. But I know this is only the one flower here, loads of buds, but I wanted to share the very first flower with you all. And if this plant continues to flower all over, I'll do another video at a later date. But it's just so gorgeous. Look at that. And uh, as I say, we have a lot of different types of Ripsalis here. This is another type of Ripsalis again. Um, and this one, although it looks very similar in appearance when it's not in flower, this particular one, this big long hanging basket, has little tiny white flowers that look like little fairies on it when it flowers. Um, very similar like this, but the flowers are much smaller than this one and they're white. But this one is a lovely, lovely orangey red colour, absolutely gorgeous. And lots of different other types of Ripsalis. This is our Ripsalis paradoxa, as well commonly known as the mistletoe mistletoe cactus here. That has lovely little white flowers on it as well. And um, here we have another one of our Ripsalis, the pendif Pendiliflor, I think this one is called, um, also nicknamed sort of like the pencil cactus um, because of its little thin stems. Not to be confused with the pencil succulent um, one, which is the Euphorbia. This is different, this is completely a cactus, but it's pencil-like. And this also has a very tiny, did you show a very tiny little flower on it today? Very, very small, and it's really hard to get the macro on it, but to show that's my finger there, and that's how small it is. Absolutely gorgeous. And it has lots of little berries all on it as well that uh, are full of seeds. And this one here is my, one of my Ripsalis here, the Crisparta. And uh, that also has little tiny flowers when it flowers. It was flowering in the winter, little tiny white flowers. And I did try and make a couple of videos, but every time it was just, the macro was so bad on it that I just gave up. It's just so hard to film them, but it's it's a lovely plant anyway. And uh, here, i show you some of my other Ripsalis, full of berries. Here, look at that, packed with berries. That's one of my Ripsalis um, pilocarpus. Uh, full of berries filled with seeds, so very exciting there. And uh, here we go, just want to finish off again with this very beautiful, lovely Ripsalis. And I say these are in the hanging basket in my office and grow room, but once the chance of frost has gone in the next few weeks, this um, hanging basket stand is going to be going outside into the yard, so all these epiphytes can get loads of fresh air and um, rain, because they take plenty of rain in the spring and summer. Uh, they love that outside with all the fresh air. And uh, if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow epiphytic cacti, including Ripsalis, then do check a video I've made on how to grow epiphytic cacti. And also if you want to know how to repot them, because they're a little bit more difficult than some of the other cacti, they're not necessarily spiny, but because they're obviously often very overhanging, such as this one here, <laughs> It can be a little bit more tricky when it comes to repotting. Then do check a video I've made on how to repot an epiphytic um, Ripsalis cactus. And I actually used this one in the video. It's a few years ago now. But um, I show you some tips on how to do that when it comes to repotting without damaging, without damaging these stems, obviously. And uh, here we go. Another little beauty. I'll just show you that 
my thumb to there. Isn't it just so gorgeous? Lovely colour. And guys, if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti and succulents in general, then please do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye.